When walking around Queens, be watchful because you might end up in the twilight zone. Ooh. Ooh. That's when you are, for example, at 43rd Avenue and you need to get to 47th Avenue. Well, if my math serves me right, 47 minus 43 equals four more avenues. So if you are walking, the next avenue is 44th Avenue. Okay, that makes sense. So the next crossing should be 45th Avenue, right? Wrong, it's 44th Road. Then comes 44th Drive. And you're probably thinking, what the hey? We're already three avenues in and haven't even gotten past 44th. What happened to 45th Avenue? Well, it's up next, 45th Avenue. Then after 45th Avenue is 45th Road. As it turns out, this is not really the Twilight Zone, but the reality in Queens when it comes to avenues, roads, drives, courts, streets, places, lanes, terraces, or whatever it is you want to call them. And if repeating numbers weren't enough, Queens has a hyphenated postal address system. Say what? But fear not! In this video, we are going to talk about the insane numbered avenues, roads, drives, courts, streets, places, lanes, and terraces, and teach you how to interpret this hyphenated number on an address so you can successfully navigate the borough of Queens. <laughs> Welcome to Urban Caffeine. If you like New Yorking, hit that like button. And speaking of streets, avenues, and lanes, The Ocean at the End of the Lane is a book I recently finished. It's written by one of my favorite authors, Neil Gaiman, and it's available on Audible. Neil Gaiman has several audiobooks on Audible and I'll probably be listening to all of them. You can get 30 days free while helping out this channel. I have an affiliate link in the description below. Audible did not sponsor this video, but I do get a small commission if you use my affiliate link. Now back to the avenues and streets of Queens. So why do we even have these names? By the time Queens was brought on board as part of New York City, Queens itself had already gone through a bunch of shape-shifting to what it is now. Queens was a result of combining different towns together, each with their own street system. So a plan was made to unify the street system of Queens as a whole. Queens has avenues that run from north to south and streets that run from west to east, which is the opposite of the Manhattan grid. I have another video that explains the Manhattan grid and link to that is in the description below. But Queens is weird shaped, so the grid is not really continuous. If you look at the map, you'll see this portion has 2nd and 3rd avenues and this doesn't, but continues with avenues it lines up with. So they gridded this land the best they could. But some of these blocks are not the same size as your typical Manhattan blocks. Some of them were larger. So as the population of Queens grew and the borough became denser, there was a need to divide these blocks to provide more space for people and establishments. So now, these new streets and avenues needed to be named. Because of humanity's infinite wisdom, the solution to name the extra avenues was to not name them avenues at all, but instead roads and drives. And the extra streets, they became places and lanes. If there is one extra pathway between two avenues, it's now called a road of the same number of the lesser avenue. If there are two extra pathways, it's road and then drive of the lesser avenue. If there are three extra pathways, it's road, then drive, then terrace of the lesser avenue. And if it's not a terrace, the third path can be called a court. With streets, if there is one extra pathway between two streets, the street is now the place of the lesser street. If there are two extra pathways, it's place first, then lane. And if there are three extra pathways, it's place, then lane, then court. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. An address in the United States is pretty straightforward. You have the building or house number, street it's on, and if there's a need to distinguish a unit in the building as a whole, and the rest is straightforward. Even in Manhattan, addresses don't really look too foreign, and I discussed Manhattan addresses in the video that I linked in the description. But for Queens, 
places have a hyphen on their address. Let's break this down. The actual address of a place is this portion. This is the building number, the street it's on, and so forth. This prefix number indicates the lower street the address is sandwiched in. That probably sounded like globity gloop to you. So let's learn by example. Arepas Cafe, my favorite arepas place in New York City. If you haven't had arepas yet, this is your spot. So if we look at the map, you'll see that 7 is the building number located on 36th Avenue. Arepas Cafe is sandwiched between 33rd and 34th Street. Since the lesser number of the two is 33rd Street, then the prefix to the address is 33. Another example, Halsey's is a gastropub in Astoria, Queens. It's located on 33rd Street in between 30th and 31st Avenue. Since 30 is less than 31, the prefix on Halsey's address is 30. That's pretty much all I have. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy New Yorking!